All right, welcome to Strato Tree Gear. I got another little tips and tricks video for you. Today we are highlining. So it's kind of like speed lining. Some of you may have done that. August, uh, monkeybeaver.com. He's got some great videos of some speed lining. But today we're highlining. And the reason we're doing it, if you look over here, we've got, actually come a little closer. I know it's a really wide view. We've got these branches that are really low. And then some neighbor's fencing that's nice. And these nice plants over here. And so what we're gonna try to do is bring those branches out over the top of the fence without having them drop down a whole bunch. So if we speed line, Typically you lose quite a bit of altitude right at the start and they'd end up on there. Um, if we were rigging it straight down from the tree, then we'd have to kind of fish it out and that'd be a pain. So this high line is, is an easier way to deal with this. So we've got like a speed line, we've got our rigging line set way up in the tree up there. Hey Mike. I'm set. Cool. So come on, go ahead and come all the way down. We're gonna work our way from the ground up. Okay. And then over here on this side, I shot a line up in the tree and I'm pulling up a pulley with the other end of our rigging line on it right now. So what this is going to do, it's going to set up our high line. So I'm going to pull this pulley all the way up there to that branch. And then I'm going to lock it off down here around the tree. And we'll be just about set up. All right, so Right now we've got our rope set, climber's getting back down. We're gonna work away from the bottom up because as branches swing around, if they get caught on stuff underneath them, it just creates a big pain in the butt. So um, I'm gonna, as soon as he gets in place over here, I'm gonna sling this rope over to him so he can grab it. He's gonna put a sling around the lowest big branch that we're gonna rig and clip it to this rope. And then we'll tension it up. And when he goes to cut it, you'll find that the whole branch doesn't drop at all. It just slings, it slides over to the middle of our, our big U shape. So that'd be pretty sweet. So Mike's got that one clipped on there. We're gonna go ahead and take a bunch of tension while he gets set. So we're heading back over here. Watch out, he's picking his nose. Don't look at that on video. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a high line. A lot of times I'd set up a two to one or something. I've got my rope jack on there. If we really need to get some tension, we'll see what it looks like. So right now I'm applying a lifting pressure to that, um, to that branch. this off for a second. Oh, that didn't lock. Let's try that again. Mike, you ready? Looks like he's on there with the next one. So this one I want to show you guys another little cool thing we can do with this high line. Um, where as he's cutting, he's going to put a little bit of if the branch. This is the tree and the branch is coming off it like this. He's going to put a little face cut on the top of the branch. And I'm going to apply pressure here with the high line to actually lift the tip of the branch a little bit as if I was trying to clear a structure below. Um, and so you'll be able to see that over there. Right now, uh, I'm just sweating the, this rope, but you could use a GRCS or a winch or even this right here if you needed to put more tension on it than what I can do. But I, I was able to lift it well enough before, so we're gonna give that another go.
so that um, that high line system works great for lifting stuff over buildings. It's really useful if you've got a GRCS for cranking things. You can um, you can just lift whole branches really well. Uh, it's good for lowering trunk wood even. You can push a trunk piece of trunk wood off and have it slide right away from what you're doing. Um, it's, it's quicker to set up and reconfigure than uh, than a lot of other potentially the systems that you could potentially use. So I like to use that a lot uh, up here in the Pacific Northwest because it's not very often that I don't have two good solid trees nearby for rigging. So anyway, this is Tips and Tricks with Strider Tree here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell so you get notifications and uh, well, safe climbing y'all. I'll see you soon.